let's see how we can use lex and yak to the our purpose here is to recognize valid c comments so we have a lex file com.l and yak file com.y so if you see within com.y we have the global definition section uh, then we have our yyr app and then the main and the yak rules are here the context free grammar right it is written in the yak format within the double percentages so if you carefully observe you can see a main function over here that is because yak is used to generate a uh, parser right so the parser actually drives the lexical analyzer so the parser demands tokens from the input stream and it is supplied by the lexical analyzer so uh, basically yy parts is to be called so that it will in turn call yylx so that is why the main is written within uh, com.y or the yak file which in turn calls yy parts okay so we won't have explicit invocation of yylx so if you see the com.l corresponding lex file there is no mention of invoking yylx because it is automatically invoked by yy parts when it needs tokens let's see how tokens are being declared in the yak file so here we will use the token keyword okay uh, just before the rule section uh, preceded by a percentage then what all tokens are we going to use in our lex file that should be written as token for them the corresponding numerical value will be generated in y.tab.h and then it will be uh, given by yylx onto yy parts so that it could be used to uh, check whether these rules are matchable now uh, the purpose of yy error it's obvious whenever an error condition or grammar not matching condition arises whatever message has to be printed uh, that has to be uh, given here so if you give any for extra messages as part of this printf that will be displayed along with the syntax error default message okay so let's see the production over here the first production left part contains a non-terminal prd okay so uh, whichever symbols that you use in production if it is not declared as a token it is by default a non-terminal so these are all terminals in the production things right uh, are non-terminal so uh, this first non-terminal uh, uh, or the first rule is automatically taken as a start symbol so here it means that if we see a beginning token and if we see uh, n token and in between if we see co then uh, that is a valid c comment okay so what is co co is iteratively defined it's, it could be empty or a blank space or it could be cnt followed by co uh, so that me that means uh, it could have a, C a cnt token followed by a repetition of cnt co or bg co okay so it's a definition of a recursive rule then empty just stands for uh, an empty placeholder so these are the rules now let's see uh, what is passed from the lexical analyzer so lexical analyzer passes tokens right so here the tokens are bg ed and cnt so uh, bg means beginning of a comment so it is indicated by slash star then uh, what is ed ed indicates the end of the comment it is indicated using star slash then what is cnt cnt means the content enclosed between uh, between the start symbol indicating comment and n symbol indicating comment okay so it could be anything okay between uh, these two uh, these two slash star and star slash anything could be written as part of a comment so any other character other than new line will be matched by uh, this particular uh, lex lex rule and cnd as a token will be returned okay so if you see here that's why we wrote this recursive rule any number of cnds could be there between beginning and end okay and there could also be a beginning to right so uh, those things are all covered over here now let's see how we can uh, run lex and yak together so you have to open the command terminal then the first thing is uh, as i told you the main is within yak right and uh, the next thing is the tokens integer values should be generated from yak okay so we can use the yak command then followed by slash hyphen d why you should give hyphen d is then only y dot tab dot h would be generated okay so uh, that is there then you are com dot y okay so once that is given if you see the folder you can see that y dot tab dot c as well as y dot tab dot h is generated if you see y dot tab dot h uh, what can you see you can see that the tokens that we defined are given numbers starting from uh, 258 okay 257 is the minimum uh, limit after that only uh, the numbers are assigned so bg token is given the value integer value 258 uh, 259 and 260 for the other tokens okay so it follows then if you see y dot tab dot c you can see that the rules that we have written grammatical rules cfg rules they will be converted to c implementation so if you see here our uh, yak files parts are actually distributed across various c statements then uh, the rule corresponding to a uh, matched command it is written as a switch case so all these things you can explore once you open y dot tab dot c 
Okay, so now uh, we are at a position where we have i dot tab dot c and y dot tab dot h. Now uh, we need to get to lex, right? We need to convert it to a C programming file. So once we give uh, lex, right? We have uh, lex dot yy dot c. So lex followed by the lex file, we will have the lex dot yy dot c. So uh, if you see here, uh, the usual things that happens when we give a lex file to a lex tool, it uh, it is done. Okay. Now let's see how we can run them together. So cc, uh, we have now two source files. That is y tab dot c and lex dot yy dot c. Uh, so these two sh should be compiled together to get our final executable. So cc lex dot yy dot c y dot tab dot c then our linger option should be given. Okay, so now uh, you have got the executable, right? A dot out is there. Now we can see how they will work together to identify a particular command. So I'm giving a valid command initially. Okay, so it matched a command. So uh, what is happening here is YWay parts is actually using uh, YWay Lex as its uh, client. Okay, so this YWay Lex will be in an infinite loop, and whenever it finds a particular token, it will call, it will in turn pass to YWay parts. Okay, so that's what is happening here. So a command is matched. Then if I give something like uh, this one syntax error is displayed. So the syntax error message is actually passed to this YY error. Okay, so as there is no other formatting or extra messages added from here, it will be just displayed as it is. So how error messages ha are handled, it is uh, done over here. 